Hello, hello! Welcome back to Super Mario Sunshine Any Person Tutorial Series. We are now in Pina Park, Episode 1, which is a Mecha Bowser fight. Before I get started, I introduced Honey Skip in a previous videos. Please check it out if you want to learn it. Right. Around the pool, you'll be using a roller coaster to fire rockets at him. First, I'm gonna show how to get the beach from a beach to the, to the park. And I'll explain about the cutscene skip. Let me go here first, and I'll show how, how I do the movement afterwards. You see the pool over there? There's a cutscene trigger around the whole pool, so if I walk any further, I will trigger the cutscene. You can do it anywhere around just the pool, where you can get a water slide like this, and have a high speed to enter the, enter the trigger. But I'm gonna show the way I do it, it's really easy. So at the start we are around here, then we did the water slide. And you see those balls, right and left, I can go between that. That's where I do water slide, and I pause in between these balls, then I exit area, and I hit the cutscene trigger, and I start the fight. <clears throat> I'm gonna show like, how just try to fire the rockets nearby him. Instead of going for the really hard strats, which I will show in advanced strats instead. And I'll try my best to explain advanced strats. At the start, like, you see that Bowser there, you have to hit him four times with the rockets. Try to hit him just anywhere far, far away, like this. And if it hits, you got really, really lucky. Then try to hit again. If it doesn't, it's fine. Here's another rocket, and you have to be... You should be close at him. Oh, one more note. If you see the input display, I'm holding R slightly, then I hold R all the way down, so the rocket will fire straight towards that direction I'm facing at, like that. If I just fire it by just only pressing R, the rocket goes in a really weird direction, and that's really bad. And now, yeah, <coughs> he got hit four times, and all the machine parts are gonna throw apart, and... The cutscene trigger is about to start after the machine parts explodes on a ground. So I highly suggest that you pause until you see the machine parts exploding. You see the machine parts on a the ground? They exploded. Now is a perfect time to do the cutscene skip. So you exit the area after the cutscene. And that's episode 1. Now I'm gonna show this with advanced strats, what we all top runners do. First we have to get to the park, then we do the cutscene skip as soon as possible with the water slide at the start. Oh, and one mention about the rockets. I'm currently on Japanese version of the game. <coughs> and there's a cutscene skip. Which means that with the Japanese version, if you fire the rockets when you are nearby a next rocket that is flying around the roller coaster, it collides with it. Which means that it breaks when you're next to, to the rocket. This is not a thing in English versions at all. That is important to keep in mind if you, if you are in a Japanese version. This first rocket is really important to avoid, to not break it. I will explain this fight later again. With the visual cues. That barely hit, but it's fine. This is basi basically the be second best fight I just got. With the best fight, I would have hit the first rocket. And that's the shine. Now I'm gonna show you all the visual cues for the best fight. Turn right until bottom left part of the rocket's red wing is around this spot. Fire the rocket immediately after you go past this rocket, then turn right to spam spray to get that rocket. Shoot the second rocket on this location, then start setting up for the third rocket. Align Blood's head to Mecha Bowser's head. You should have a correct angle to Mecha, shoot the third rocket immediately when you grab it. Now for the fourth rocket we call as an early rocket. Move right and down to set up Mario's right ear on this part of the roller coaster. 
for the last rocket, aim to Mecha Bowser's head and shoot it. You can watch it one more time with normal speed. Next up is episode 2. This is really straightforward shine. The secret itself is really easy, as well as entering a secret. There is mole that is guarding the, the cannon, and there is many ways to enter the cannon. I'll show you some of the easy ways. <clears throat> you have to get to the, to the next to the cannon, and he throws you bombs. When he's throwing a bomb, that's the visual cue when you wanna jump in. Here's one. Here's another way. And this is how I do it. Now for this secret, you can go from left, right or even the middle for this start. But be careful you don't get caught by those disappearing platforms. You don't have to be any faster because you have to wait for these platforms to appear again. There's a 1-up if you want to grab that as well. Pretty straightforward secret. In a park 3 is a red coins over a ship and an amusement park. Beginner strats, I'll show the one of the old ways that used to be advanced strats years ago. But first we have to get the amusement park. And I'll show the way to get the shot, get the coins. You wanna get on top of this umbrella, then get this coin. Go over here and continue this way. I always like to get on this part of the platform, then I fall down to get this red coin. Then I press B and hold R immediately to get off that grating. Then I spin jump up here to get this red coin. Then I wanna hug this part of the bowl. Then I press B and hold R to hover on this part. Then I get this red coin. And based on the ship's movement, I get this red coin then. Oops. But for just this, this part of the video, I won't be showing the, the ship's movement because right now I'm not in the right cycles with the ships. I would have been in a different cycles already. For advanced strats, I will be more careful with the cycles. Then for the seventh red coin you get here and then for the last one you also wanna hug this part. Press B and hold R to get on top of the eighth red coin. Now I'm gonna show with advanced strats where I do a little bit different route. First two coins are always the same. Then I have to land on a boat get on this part to get this red coin like this to go over here to get this red coin and if you are fast enough you can do the spin jump off from this boat a momentum spin jump to be fair to be clear sorry and there is this self explanatory pretty same as in the beginner strats but there is one more strat I'll show you. This route for red coins, as well as the strats, are based from dual assisted assisted speedrun. I'm one of the few people who does this in live speed runs. It's very difficult. Shout out to Vetch for making this strat possible. Next up, episode 4. There are 5 Snusa Koopas you have to ground pound on when they have ground pounded on the sand. 
just making clear, they have to be on a sand. If they land on a grass, they are not possible. They are not possible to ground pound. I'll first show with a two cycle. When I say cycles and one cycle, two cycle, I refer at when I crown pound all of them for one cycle, or I crown pound four or three of them for two cycle. So starting off with two of them, you wanna spam spray at this location like that and get them all together. This is for two cycle now. You lure them all next to you, then you start crown pounding the first one and the first next two. Then you run in a setup. Then you get in the setup to spam spray the remaining two. And if you miss one of them or two, it's okay. You can get, possibly get them for the next cycle. Spam spray around here to wake up them both. And I'll show you quickly what happens if you make them ground pound, ground pound on a grass. As you can see, you can't damage them now. That's why they have to hit the sand. Also, these last two Snusa Koopas get a little bit more aggressive, or let's say they get out of the, out of the sand faster than other other Snusa Koopas. So you have to ground pound them faster. Time for advanced strats, where I do this with a one cycle. For one cycle. You have to manipulate the movement of these Koopas. Let me get closer and I will explain what is gonna happen. So I'm gonna start... In initial Koopa I'm gonna spray at is this one I'm right next to right now. I'm gonna spray it. Then I th start spam spraying these two. Then I go to in the position to spam spray these two. Then I start luring this guy around here. And at, that, at this point, all the Koopas should be nearby me, then they will ground pound. And I will do certain movement to get them ground pounded on here. Then I kill the first Koopa, then I kill the remaining ones. Let's get started. The triple jump here happened by accident. And is not part of the strat. For the last three Koopas, you noticed I, have a, I was taking damage from Koopas, so I will be able to get all the ground pounds before one of the Koopas will wake up. And there is something to note about taking damage from Koopas. If you take a hit before they're about to ground pound to you, they're on the ground pound. Make sure you don't get, take a hit before they're about to ground pound. You have now reached episode 5. This episode is possible to skip, and the skip is called Early Yoshi Go Round. Please take a look at this video if you want to learn how to skip episode 5. Then come back later for episode 6 to learn how to do the secret. If you don't learn Early Yoshi Go Round, it is okay. I will show you how to do episode 5 and 6 normally. First, I'll obviously show beginner strats. It's really easy by using the umbrella to get on top of the tree, then over the roller coaster part where the 8 red coin was in episode 3. The water slide this way. This is the umbrella I mentioned, and this tree as well. To spin jump up here, spin jump over here. And this one, this one is actually important to explain. You see there's invisible wall. Don't you don't want to hover that uh, that uh, that high up, don't you? Instead hover that low where you see the water is going through the very still. If you hit the invisible wall, you vault vault down all the way. Then just get on the rope and hit this guy off. There is actually a small person difference here between PAL version and American and Japanese version. American and Japanese version have faster fairy steel, then PAL version has slower. You want to get on the fairy steel quickly? Yeah, you can also grab the ledge, but you probably wanna be careful with that. 
I'm gonna quickly show what fault you do if you fall down to this location. There is an old strat you can do. Grab this ledge, then have this kind of angle and do a side flip to get the ball jump like this. And this is all for if you fail before hitting this guy. And if you just fall down while getting on the the very spill, you can just side 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 flip on top of the very spill for from here. I'm gonna show how you do do it by using the boat. You have to water slide this way. They get on on top of the boat quickly like this. Side flip on the sail. Spin jump on other sail. And you drop down from here and start hovering before you fall down too much. Then you just get the shine normally. For episode 6, you have to enter the secret with Orange Yoshi. In this part, I'll show you where all the all the fruits are and the routes you will take with each fruit. Starting here inside the bar, you wanna water slide again to the Yoshi to see what fruit Yoshi wants and from here you do the movement to the Yoshi. So if it was a papaya, you would go against this tree, first person and straight off to the tree. Then just grab it and you give it to him. If it's a coconut, then you have to go to this direction, grab one over here and walk all the way around the pool side to Yoshi. You can throw the coconut around this spot of the ground. So like standing like here, then you throw it. If it's the banana, you have to go this way. And grab one over here. Spin jump up this sledge. Then you can throw it at him from here. And the last one is a pineapple. You can find from this direction behind the banana. The best way to get Yoshi with from here is to go up here and drop down. If you did get banana or a coconut, you would have pink Yoshi. Then you just eat this fruit to make your or Yoshi orange. And you have to go to the secret. Just run over here and eat the, one of the carousels that doesn't have orange Yoshi. First, let's start with beginner strats. These are always in cycle, and there's a really easy way to get to the other side without going too risky at all. Jump on all of these next cubes, then to the inner one, wait for the next black cube to go on the green cube. You don't have to do anything risky. And then you just wait until you're this, this close. Now for this part, I'm gonna go around this whole section. In advanced threats I will show the ball jumps. The shine is above all the up there. So you can ball jump over here, then ball jump. I mean side flip first, then ball jump. If you wanna do, you can do a side flip from here, and it looks like this. Side flip dive like this, and you can get the shine. If you're too scared of that, you can just go around and use that cube to get all the way up here. Now I'm gonna show different variations of how to get over top of the wall. You wanna have this kind of angle. So you're gonna spin jump like this to get a triple jump over top, top of the wall. Get to the left side. For this one I will show you how to get up there faster. The spin jumps and ball jumps like this. Then for this one you can do something like this. Get to the shine. This time I'm gonna go from right side of the wall. And it looks like this. You have to spin jump that direction and use the C stick a lot. Then I always like to use C stick down so I see where I'm landing. It's done a bit faster than going from left side. 
I'm actually gonna show the hardest strat. Not many runners are doing it in their speedruns. For this particular strat, you are pressing A, B and Y buttons at the same time to get to the first person with the triple jump dive. It's episode 7, again it's a Shadow Mario. First I'm gonna show you really easy way when he goes left. It's really easy to get him down with just the regular sprays. For advanced strats I'll show you with the fan sprays. Shadow Mario likes to go either left, right or left at the start, based on where you are standing right before he starts moving. If you go left side of him, he will usually go right. If he goes straight towards him or go from the right, he goes left. So I'm gonna go straight towards him like that, with the jump dives. Then I start spraying like that, and I have a distance from him, so he will stop right before there. I'm gonna go show with spam sprays when he goes left. And you stop him right there but if you manage to hit all the spam sprays. This next one is really tricky. I'm gonna walk up left with a spraying on all the time like this. And then I will immediately go up right. And I start holding R all the way down. Then I press A to do the backflip and I immediately dive. Then Sodomari is already going right. Then I do regular dive into a rollout and I shoot get two spam sprays right next to Shadow Mario to quick kill him to go right. It's a little bit faster than making him go left and get the spam sprays, but it's a lot harder to make him quick kill in the right side. And it looks like that. And that is Pinup Park. If you do have any questions, leave a comment and I will answer your questions. Thanks for watching.